The iPhone's great, Android's great, but we all know innovation there is just about finished. At that point, it's time for the next device. The advantage speech has is that if you can say it, we can do it. I like to call it the infinite interface. So what happened five years ago is uh, Microsoft and others made it so that we could recognize words better. And what they did was they actually made sounds and accurately transform them into phonemes. A sound coming from the air turning into the sound T or S or F. And now what we're doing is we're making mini dictionaries that are ephemerally created. We're created on the fly and they're for a particular context. Dunbar's number is the idea that humans are only capable of about 150 relationships. And then beyond that is just the crowd. People are playing roles and there's context. So the AI actually probably knows who this person is and how they're important in your life. So that means then you can use simple language like him, this, the last thing we did. This all just works. What systems like Brighton do is they engage with your context and with you and figure out what you're actually talking about and then dynamically create dictionaries that fit what you're doing. If there's a place called uh, Joe's Pizza downstairs, Brighton would have that information and recognize Joe's Pizza, whereas a, a system like Siri may miss that case because it doesn't have it in the dictionary. So it's, it's not just about the words that humans use, it's the words that you use. So in the case of uh, one of the companies I'm working with, uh, they have a robot that um, walks or strolls up and down the hallways at the hardware store. And what's interesting is as you walk, it's engaging with you. It's saying, how is your experience? The second time I come in, the robot says, John, you're still working on your porch? Come on over here. I think we have a few more things for you. And by the way, if there's 10 robots, they all have the same memory. So it doesn't matter which robot I interact with. Now you've got the ability to engage with customers in deeper ways at a cheaper cost. It's not a reactive system anymore. It's not question, answer. It's instead, it's two people together. One happens to be a virtual assistant, and they're talking about something, and they're arriving at a conclusion.